Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we'll have a look at the Boeing 777 main equipment center. Here we are in the left hand side crawl space of the main equipment center. And you see what's hiding under the cockpit floor. The first close up will be of the connection to the left hand pitot with the air data module. And here we have the connection to the ice detector. Here we have a view of the uh, R-Ring 629 coupling that connects systems to the uh, R-Ring 629 buses. And another view. Then we come up to this left hand system card file with its connections. Here we have cards that control um, fire detection, some environmental system controls, hydraulics, etc. Now here we come up on the, the P100 panel. This panel will have the large um, relays and uh, large load circuit breakers, heaters, transformer rectifier unit. You will find the the bus tie breakers and uh, generator uh, control breakers uh, in that panel. Here we have the crew oxygen bottle. In front of it, we have the pressure gauge. It shows how much uh, pressure is in the bottle. There is also a pressure transducer in the system that will show uh, how much pressure is in the bottle in the cockpit. Here we will have the P110 uh, power management panel and the P310 standby power panel. And there we have an uh, access door that will give us access to the lower cargo uh, bay. There's some latches that need to be unlocked. And when the latches are unlocked you can uh, open the door and you can get into the forward cargo. At the moment, the cargo bay is empty, so it's a nice, uh, large, empty space. If you need to be in the forward cargo bay, um, this is an access you can take, uh, so you don't need to open uh, the cargo door. When the door is closed, you'll have to latch all the latches again and be sure everything is locked. And now we'll uh, come up to the uh, E4 rack and uh, we'll uh, show you uh, one by one what the e box is. If you uh, need to replace um, one of these boxes or um, a card, it's very important that you use the, a grounding wrist strap um, so you don't have any uh, electrostatic discharges uh, when replacing the boxes.
here you have a uh, flight control battery and uh, this one will uh, power the flight controls uh, for about a minute during power switch. There are uh, three of those uh, batteries in the flight control system. Here you have the uh, hatch uh, to exit uh, the main equipment center. Here we'll uh, come on to the uh, E3 rack. Here you see the RMO shelf on this rack and not everything is visible. I didn't open uh, the lower part because I didn't want to perform any maintenance uh, during uh, the making of this video. But uh, behind the panel here we have the uh, Adir roots, um, some transformer rectifiers and some other uh, computers. Above the E3 rack we'll have the P320 panel. And this provides power during the phases that the aircraft is on ground surface and ground handling. Next to that we'll have a main battery. The aircraft has two batteries, but the uh, APU battery is installed in the bulk cargo. And here we see the cable guides uh, for a nostril steering uh, upper loop. And a nostril steering broken cable compensator. Here we have a pin storage. Uh, some operators will store their gear pins in here. This one has the gear pins in the cockpit. And this one has some uh, rigging pins uh, installed in it. In the main equipment center you will not find uh, the right primary flight control computer. This one is installed uh, in a rack in the door sill of the forward cargo compartment. right side here we come up with the uh, P300 panel. This has um, heavy loads uh, too. Below that uh, you see the uh, equipment cooling uh, smoke detector. 
if you have any uh, component uh, that uh, creates flush smoke in the system, it will trigger an, uh, a smoke alarm. Here we have the P210. Lots of circuit breakers. And there on the right side we have the P200. Again, this is a panel with the heavy loads, large circuit breakers and uh, relays uh, stored in this one. And then here in the right uh, crawl space we have the right system card file. Again, these cards uh, control uh, some environmental, hydraulic, smoke detection, etc. And then here a little flyby of the E4 and the E3 Rex. And then uh, I hope you uh, find this uh, video informative. It's just to show what's in the, the main equipment center of the 777. I would say don't use it uh, for maintenance. Use the documentation uh, during any troubleshooting or replacement for uh, any of these components. This is just uh, for fun. And I uh, hope if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you have any qu questions about this video, just let me know in the comments. And I'll uh, see you the next time. Take care.